HBP series occupancy sensors are designed for high bay applications. The versatile PIR sensor and lens combination allows for installation at mounting heights varying from 20 feet all the way up to 40 feet. Today we're going to show you how to reconfigure your HBP 111 sensor with your FSIR 100 handheld remote out in the field. Once the product is mounted and in place, you will have the ability to make adjustments from the sensor itself. Light level settings, time delay, as well as load operation are all available at the device itself. However, this is all field adjustable from our wireless FSIR 100 remote. From the handheld configuration tool, the user has the ability to adjust all settings built into these versatile sensors, including adjustments to the time delay, passive infrared sensor sensitivity, as well as being able to place the device into service mode to ensure that the lights remain on when needed. The method of communication between the FSIR 100 and our HBP 111 occupancy sensor is dual-way infrared communication. In order to understand the settings that are currently on the sensor, turn on your FSIR 100 by pressing the power button at the side of the remote. Next, select the HBP 111 occupancy sensor as the device that is to be communicated with. Finally, scroll down to the second selection using the arrow keys to select current settings and press down and release the select button. Once you have done so, you will see a prompt that says point device to the desired occupancy sensor and press select. Follow this prompt. Occasionally, you may receive a prompt that states no communication to device. If this occurs, please go back to the main screen and begin at step one to communicate with your device. Now the user should be able to see page one of the current settings screen. By scrolling to the bottom of the screen and selecting Next, additional settings and set points will be displayed. In order to adjust these settings, the user will have to start at the home screen. To do so, press the home button located at the top of the button pad on the FSIR 100 remote. From the main menu, select the new settings option, press and release the select button and follow the prompt on the screen to communicate with the device. The FSIR 100 will then display the current settings that can be adjusted from the first screen starting with the time delay. By scrolling down to the next selection, the user can display a second page of settings which can be adjusted. For a majority of installations, the default settings will provide exactly the functionality necessary both to meet energy code and provide occupant comfort. Although, as you have seen, it is as simple as point and click to make adjustments to Wattstopper devices. Thank you for watching. Please visit wattstopper.com for complete product information and links to additional how-to videos.